remain in Jesus. <clears throat> remain in Jesus. The book of John chapter 14 verse 1 says, Do not let your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. People everywhere, including Christians, run around, pulling their hair out, worrying about what to do. But there is no need to panic, no matter the testimony, no matter the situation around you. There is no need to panic. After all, Jesus told us what to do. He said, do not let your heart be troubled. Your God is bigger than any mountain, is bigger than any problem, any situation, negative situation around you. When Jesus said those words to his disciples, they were about to face more trouble than most of us can imagine today. Jesus was about to be crucified before their eyes. Peter was about to deny him. Who can even imagine how stressful those days must have been? Yet, Jesus said to them, Do not let your heart be troubled. He went out to teach how to have an untroubled heart, even in the most troubled time. He said, Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and my word remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit. That is John chapter 15, verse 4 to 5, then 7 to 8. When you remain in Jesus, it's not just God on Sunday. It's not just the one you think about when you get in trouble or have a hard test. No. When you remain in Him, is God from Monday through Sunday. Is your school life God and your home life God is involved in your life 24-7. Remaining Jesus by talking to Him throughout the day and remembering His word. For if his word remain in you, it will constantly teach you God's ways and wisdom. His promises will keep your heart from being troubled. You have it all. You will be able to sing that song with every assurance that's standing on the promises that cannot fail. Because that promise cannot, the promise of God cannot fail. If all other things fail, his word will never fail in your life. He will do what he says he will do. And that is why whenever you are troubled, whenever it seems that uh, things are turning upside down, remember that he has you to remain in him. By remaining in him, his word remaining in you, the promise germinate, the promise you activate the promise of God, and it begins to work wonders. It begins to manifest glory in your life. No matter what, you are the apple of the eyes of God. No matter what, you are the image of God. No matter what, it is only when you remain in Him that all these benefits can be yours. What you don't appreciate, you can never be rewarded of it. So appreciate Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Remain in Him as begin, you begin to flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Sure Mercy Broadcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Reformer Voice Ministry, 6350, and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen.